wrestling fans, and welcome to Wrestling Gabbit. It's Friday. That means it's time for the SmackDown after WrestleMania. You guys are excited about that. I know a lot of people are. Let's see what's going to happen here. How many people do you think are going to get the call? I don't know. What kind of call? So the roster from the NXT brand? I don't know. They supposedly showed a couple of them or whatever on, on Raw, yeah. We're going to be there. You a blast furnace? You're hotter than mom. You're hotter than your mom is. Is this your favorite song? I don't I'd rather not listen to it. Oh shit. Oh, that's kind of Everybody ready for the weekend out there? Oh, we aren't gonna have Walter tonight. He's watching a movie. We do have Sophie with us tonight right now. So hey Sophie, good to see you says. Hi, they're making a G.I. Joe Transformers crossover movie. Kind of weird, but all right. Ah, cool. Sophie also says they're also making a scary movie reboot. Sophie says, ah, oh, cute dog. Yep, that's Wellington. That's Mr. Wellington. Do you remember when he was tiny, tiny? Now he's just tiny. Tiny. And he is now full size. Chris says, oh, shit, WWE and Motor City tonight. Maybe finally Machine Guns. Actually, I think they re-signed with TNA, so that ship. Pro that shit probably sailed, but this is the last time I'll mention them. <laughs> yeah, you can mention them all you want, Chris. I don't care. Quentin Mitchell in the chat. Hey, Quentin says both Becky and Seth stepped away from the WWE. Good for <coughs> them. Robert some Warney time is away. also in the chat. Hey, Robert says, hey, what it do, y'all? Not much. How are you doing? You ready for your weekend? Uh, Sophie says, like Beef Wellington? Yeah. Yeah, like the Duke of Wellington. Wellington Boots, The Duke, and Mr. Beefy. Wow! Mr. Beefy. Speaking of Mr. Beef, look at that. The champion of SmackDown. So. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. So, them saying Becky and Seth stepped away. Yes. For a while. Did that mean that they didn't re-sign any contracts or anything? Do they have contracts or? I think Becky has a long, big contract. But Seth's contract is up in a couple months. Yeah, you think. Look at this. Robert says, He's I'm. like, no. Nope. I'm great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm ready for the weekend. Well, good. I'm glad that you're ready for the weekend. Me too. Anybody out there going to be watching the UFC 300 this weekend? It is tonight, or not tonight, but tomorrow night, Saturday, all day. They're going to have some really crazy uh, matchups on there. A lot of them are championship ones. Yeah. A lot of them are There's ranked people and stuff like that. Almost so. every match is ranked. Or yeah. A Figaro is starting the Or a whole big show name out. or something. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Yeah, they're going to have a lot of stuff. And that's even on the pre-show to the pre-show. Mm -hmm. So, it's a big, big thing. Some good shit is what they call it. Sophie says tonight, two Fatal 4-Way matches happening. And the winners of those matches faces each other. And whoever wins that faces Cody for the championship. No, good. Chris Maybe says, it'll be somebody of worth. Who would it be? I don't know. SmackDown's worth? struggling, but... They could find people. Randy Orton, right? He's over there. Yeah. Kevin Owens. Yeah. Uh, Logan Paul. Yeah, have him drop the drop his belt. Well, he doesn't have kidding. to drop it. I'm teasing. But yeah. Chris says, "I wonder if Uncle Creepy song before the show sh aired." I don't know. What do you mean, uh -huh. Uncle Creepy? He's uh, Bo Dallas. Oh yeah, I think I that's think just his name's dumb. Morgan. I think they should just not do that. I think it dilutes Bray Wyatt's legacy and makes it just fucking stupid. I don't understand why they would do something so dumb. So if it says CM Punk is going to be on both nights of the draft, Robbie nice. says yo, and Quentin says they just dropped the universal name for the ch championship that Cody is currently holding. All right, are you coming over here? All righty then. All right. They pulled not happy. Hello. Hi, that's my page. Thanks, bud. You're a good boy. Sophie says Ray versus Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles in one triple threat, and Bobby versus Santos versus LA Knight are in the other triple threat. Huh. And Cody's just going to sit out there and cry. Because he's a crybaby. Cry Cody, crybaby. 
Peacolas in the chat tonight. Hey, Peacola, good to see you for a minute. Tonight says back to the shindig. Back to the it's shindig. back. What you want to talk about? Chris says people think Cody versus Rocket Mania 41 now. And now Rocket Mania 42. That will be when Rock is 53. So he says it'll be interesting what the draft format will be like this week. Coming up. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it, though, in a couple weeks. Is The Rock going to interrupt him tonight? Or is he finally not. go back to Hollywood? Robbie says, if at a restaurant the waiter says, is your meal okay, do you, do you agree or say, no, it's not to your satisfaction? Depends, depends on if it is. Depends on if it is or not. I'm not going to say no if it was good. And then I'm not. Yeah, or, yeah, if it was good. If my meal's okay and it's pretty much what I asked for, then I'm going to just say it's great. Thanks for asking. But if it's not and something's wrong, I will say something. I'll say something for sure, especially if it has something on it that I don't normally eat. But I will not send it back. I will just not eat it. <laughs> right. And they get mad at you for that, which is fine. Ravi said that. P. Cola says, oh, Cody's stealing a few of Wifey's infamous quotes. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie says, will we ever get to see Rock versus Roman? I don't know what, if they'll do anything like that. <laughs> Unless they do something more with the bloodline. I'm not sure. Oh, watch. Ravi says, anyone feeling the vibe of Cody as champion? We know what it was. It had to have been a watch. Awkward, uncomfortable. Forrest Gump. Yeah. I had that awkward, uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass. Oh, that's not oh, Forrest Gump. Oh, no, not Gump. Forrest Gump. Sorry, that's uh, that's Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. You think she gave him a walk? That's not so weird to think of it. All right. Chris says backlash and Francis. Leon, Leon. France. Leon. Sophie says at least with Cody as the champion, it freshens up the main event scene on SmackDown. Quentin says, Does your dog got a name? Yeah, his name's Wellington. Or Beef Wellington. But we like to call him Duke of Wellington. Duke, Duke, Duke. He was sound asleep. Poor thing. People says I had a few things over the course of the week I wanted to bring back up. Wait, what is it? Chris says LA Knight versus Cody. Bobby says D, not but bad. lost if people lie and say it is when it's not. Yeah, people do that, and that's fine. I mean, I do have moments when I, they're like the, mill may not like live up to the standards of what I, I expect because maybe the last time I went it was better but I always chalk that up to maybe they're just not doing very well at that time so I'll always have it again but sometimes when it's like a few times in a row I just don't go back Bobby for a while Equal says it's all beef Wellington in the casa. Yep, he's here. Sophie, uh, Chris says AJ Styles versus Cody, former Bullet Club's leaders. Sophie says I'm surprised Randy Orton isn't on one of these triple threat matches. Chris says Cody versus Jobby Trashley. Sophie says a scary movie reboot. Why that is a random reboot. Equal says Duke of Earl. <laughs> Quentin says they should bring back the 2019 stages from both Raw and SmackDown. Sophie says they say we saw at Mania, the set we saw at Mania, we will see on Raw and SmackDown moving forward to get more fans in the arena. Maybe. That'd be cool. It says whoever Cody faces will be a fresh match. I'm just glad that I don't have to worry about hearing people say, Oak Hogan's name day after day after day 
Oh, okay. Internet. Was kinda, it's over now. Like, supposedly beat his record and crap. Mm -hmm. It was a two belt era champion. So it didn't count, anyways, but people still believed it. Like, Well, you know, that happens. Now he's the longest reigning champion in the two belt era ever. Period. Hands down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come at the king. Did that guy say you suck? I don't think so. Uh oh. He might have said it as in, like, finished his sentence. For all you My people that is... might not be aware of who I am, you suck. Uh oh. Because <laughs> he said my name, and then the guy said, you suck. <laughs> and it was like, my call. Not everybody likes Cody, believe it or not. I can imagine people, there are people, a lot of people probably hate him right now, especially if they're big. Fans of Roman. I watched a full grown man have a meltdown. Yeah, he was doing like a live review thing. And he even had like the arm things on and he had the belts and he was standing in front of We the Ones and like, and he literally was That's like a full growing stuff. man was crying. <laughs> it wasn't handicapped or anything. You sure? Mm -hmm. Stuff he says, but the WWE is building to like horror themes. One, the draft, and the two pay per views in May. Before Sophie jumps in, did you hear what happened to uh, her right there? Lena. Lena. No. So suppose, like her uh, designer or whatever, had a bipolar Moment. meltdown on the Twittersphere. Okay. Oh, it's pretty bad. <sighs> Look at that. Look at their room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. You guys got delegated to the broom closet. Anyways, he like went completely off because she ordered her stuff from him and then she ordered it to her old address but figured it'd be okay to still get. But it was like a hundred and something degrees in Florida and so it melted some of it and then she tried to Anyways, it was a bunch of drama. But Zelina had not replied when I had seen it. Like, who would ruin their career? Over something that petty? For Twitter. Somebody, they do that a lot. Like. Like, somebody else isn't going to make her shit. Oh, she's that way? Well, I'm not going to do it. Bullshit. Uh-oh. Uh L.A. Knight starting out the show. Interesting and weird, though. So, so her designer of her, or that she has make her outfits. Yeah. Ordered stuff, or Zelina ordered. She ordered stuff, it, yeah. Or the designer ordered. She ordered it. Who's she? Well, it's a dude that designs it. Okay, so the designer is a dude. Thank you. I didn't know that. I said he. Okay, so Zelina is the she. So she ordered her things from mm -hmm. her designer. Yeah. The guy. And it went to an address that's her old address. Yeah. So somehow she thought it would be okay. Okay, so that's her mistake. Fact. Thinking that that was fine. That's silly. Mm -hmm. But that's that's a stupid mistake people do all the time. Right, but Does it was 100 and something. Does she not live there anymore? I don't know. Okay. But it was 100 and something degrees. So it melted some of the arm things. Okay. So was she mad? Like, did she get upset? So, it's, or did she take responsibility for her stupidity? I didn't watch that. And still pay the person for making the, the stuff and saying, "I'm sorry, my bad. I should have not. I didn't know it was going to be that hot. Right. I didn't realize things would melt." Anyway, so he made another set, sent them to her, and then she ended up not wearing them or whatever at Mania or something. Okay, so she chose not to. That mm. was that's her choice on whatever. I get it. I'm just letting Costumes you know that there's some drama going wear. on on the Twitter sphere. So the person making the drama is just the person making the outfit. Right. That's it. That's the only person in the whole situation I've heard so far that's making the drama. Right. Nobody and, else is making drama, just that person. But maybe somebody in there knows more. Because I was on there right after they had posted it hmm. with her hashtag. So I knew it was true. Right. 
Ravi says, how does Prodi make the title exciting? I, I don't think it... How do I word that? I don't know if it's up to the wrestler to make the title exciting. It's more up to the booking to make the title exciting. Mm. You want it to be a main event thing, right? So if you think of sports, what's a main event? Right. Super yeah. Bowl, right? That's a main event. WrestleMania is a main event. Uh, the World Series is a main event. Uh, heavyweight championship match is a main event in boxing. In the UFC, it's a main event when John Jones fights. Right. So you don't want to water it down. You don't want to make it all the time. You don't want to do it like Seth Rollins was doing because that just makes it a television championship. So select pay-per-views. He defends it. He's on every few weeks talking, and he just has really good feuds. I think Triple H will do a pretty good job with it. As long as he's not wrestling circus folk. Right. If they start having him wrestle circus folk, then we're going to have a look. Like, if he's wrestling Butch. Um, now, Butch is okay to wrestle at, like, a Saturday night main event or something. Mm -hmm. But just don't headline pay-per-views with it. Or the other, you know, Mighty Mouse or something that, that was done in NXT. Right. Which I'm assuming we'll see tonight. Uh, Sequel said something earlier about while Cody was still talking, exactly forcing a narrative. Sophie says, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the bloodline when Roman and The Rock won't be on every week. Chris says, yeah, Roman didn't count, didn't even pass Punk's WWE title reign, not the blue title. That was the 1,000-day BS everyone loves. Roman only WWE champ 430 days, Punk WWE champ 434 days. So my thing about the whole belt thing is this. He had the SmackDown belt for a while. Then he got the Raw belt. So then he had two belts for a while. So the SmackDown belt was the longest reigning one at that time. And then he had the Raw belt that kind of came with it. But he didn't have it the same amount of time. Not okay? even close, yeah. And then, and then those belts went away. And he got a new belt. And right. I consider that a reset. Now, I know you don't agree, but that's my... That's how I look at it. That's a complete reset because that's a whole new belt. That's a new, whole new motherfucking belt. Because that's not the SmackDown belt and that's not the Raw belt because that motherfucking belt can go to either one. It does not matter. It can be a champion on either thing. It doesn't, it's not specified for SmackDown or Raw. So fuck you guys and your shit. So I look at it as it started all over. So when he got that new belt, he, he didn't have a thousand days. He, he lost his reign of the SmackDown one when it got changed to one belt and didn't and had the Raw one only for that many days. So in all reality, he had it under a thousand days. I mean, way under a thousand days. Maybe a year he had the whole the belt that was all the that they made the new one. Right. I look but at that's it, how I see it. Right. I see what you're saying. It's just that they just combined the two. But they didn't. They made a whole new belt. If, well, of if course they're they combining did. They did. the belt, it would have been the SmackDown Raw belt. No, they didn't call it SmackDown Raw. They called it the Universal. But it was the SmackDown belt and the Raw belt. See? Right, but we didn't call but, but, them. It, but it doesn't matter. They did. Shit. They did call them that. Oh. Yes, they were. They were called that. There was the Universal Championship and the... The SmackDown Universal Championship, whatever, Shit. and whatever the Raw one was. And there was the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship. And... If you went to the other brand, they just changed the color of it. Well, not the Raw one, because the Raw one was a different color. It was like white. But the SmackDown, the Universal Championship, which we call the SmackDown, it wasn't actually called the SmackDown title, was whatever color it was on. When Brock had it, it was red, because it was on Raw. But when Roman won it, it was blue, because it was on SmackDown. Mm -hmm. But it was the same belt, just different color. Be fab! Eagle says, uh, Ravi, I wanted to know your thoughts on a couple of 90s, 2000s artists from back in the day. Um, Sophie says, Stone Cold was going to be in that last spot that Undertaker took, but WWE and Stone Cold couldn't agree on money. Yeah, Travis said that that night, Sophie, so you're yeah. kind of behind. 
Google says I went past it, didn't bother looking up the deets on the Selena Vega stuff. Debbie says Zelina did mention it on Twitter. Chris says I'm tired of AEW BS. That was actually unprofessional showing footage, and plus Jack looked like a weak moron. I guess the reason they showed it wasn't because of that of the push that Punk did. It was because he l watched it 47 times. It's because afterwards, and they take Punk over to the side, he lunges at Tony Khan. But you don't see Tony because he's behind that wall. The and then there's the, the monitors. And you see that monitor turn. If you've seen it enough times, you'll see that monitor turn. And that's when Punk lunged at Tony. And that's where Tony was feared for his life. Mm -hmm. That was the whole thing. So it actually nothing to do with the the Jungle Boy stuff because that was just a high school shove, right? But it was that he got mad and lunged at Tony. Which he probably didn't even do that. I doubt he lunged at him. Oh, if you want to call it a lunge. I mean, I think if he would have wanted to get to him, he would have just got to him. Yeah, I doubt he did anything. I bet that was just their own narrative making something up at that point. Stephanie says a lot of the usual podcasts that usually love AW gave AW a crap this week with that footage. Chris says, then you have Geriatric Edge have to come out on TV wasting hundreds of thousands of airtime just to say AW good, WWE bad. Fuck off. That was dumb. Stephanie says John Cena did hint that he could be going for a 17th championship reign. Uh, rip to OJ Simpson. Yeah, he died. There again. It it's a two belt era, so it it just who cares? Yeah, ooh, he got a, another championship. We'll see. If He's, there would have only been one belt, how many titles would he have? Somebody do the math. Remember, Triple H had to have a title. Randy had to have a title. Four. Batista had to have titles. That's my job. Just put that. Don't forget that the Rock was in there for a while. He calls us. I'm curious to know, Sophie, which pods are the ones you either sub to or pay more attention to. Chris Look at says, that, Bobby Lashley. Chris says, and finally, you have Will Ospreay call out Triple H for saying, if you want AEW wider schedule, it means you can't handle WWE. Fuck you, uh, Will. That's why you're not in the main event, just like Travis said. I, I don't get it, man. Like, he's supposed to be a star. He's supposed to be so great. I know everybody and, likes you know, him he, up. He's wrestling Cesaro next, like, this coming up week. It's going to be at the start of the fucking show. Like, fuck is how is that not a main event? What, because Joe's going to be out there or something? I don't know. It, it wouldn't even matter. That's just dumb. Sophie says, I saw Zelina tweet not knowing what was going on. I've seen clips of people talking bad about AEW this week. Chris says, you would have been bigger than Omega, Will, if you would have signed with WWE and be up for the grind, but instead you decided to sign with Tony con man and have a lighter schedule that's why you're not in the main event um it's a fact triple h saying what he said is the most idiotic stupidest thing i've ever heard somebody say about wrestlers so he literally called all of his people on wwe garbage he called every single one who came over from another company garbage. He literally said, if you weren't here from the beginning, like literally your w your career of wrestling started with WWE and you're still here, then you are a trash monkey who doesn't work hard. Because you quit and went somewhere else and then you were like, oh, I want to come back and stuff like that. So, so no matter what, that's how I think that Triple H looks at every single wrestler that he personally hasn't handpicked, not from another company, like just went off the street of Joe Schmo down at the convenience store, because that's basically what most of his guys kind of look like, and said, hey, you want to go in a ring and wrestle? I can make you a wrestler. Just put in the hard work, man. Do -do -do. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird to me, the whole scenario, but Offspray, if he would have, or Osprey, whatever, however you say it, if he would have went to WWE, he would have been as big as AJ Styles. 
I feel like he would have followed in AJ's step, but with Triple H running it instead of Vince. Right. Sophie says, if I was WWE, who do I want Cody to face at a pay-per-view? I don't know. Sorry, I didn't hear that. That was glitching. Oh. There was something disturbing there. Sophie says, if I was WWE, who do I want Cody to face at a pay-per-view? Uh, I mean, LA Knight, but... Does LA Knight already have a feud going on? You got to look at some of is these. Is he a like, bad enough guy? AJ Styles? I mean, is he a yeah. bad enough guy? Like, is he a bad guy enough that right. he can do it? I think Cody is a neutral enough guy yeah. to pull it off. But you're right. It's going to be a heel. I think a lot of people really consider him a baby face. Like, Pico has a comment that kind of throws it that way, too. Uh, anyways, uh, Chris says, Tony Khan doesn't see you as a main eventer. Will, you should have thought it over before you talk shit about Triple H. Now you're going to come crawling to WWE and Triple H won't take you in. I'll just go back to New Japan, Chris. He was big there. People loved him. Yeah, not to mention, Triple H will bring him in. He don't care. It's If he, so if he forgave Cody. And then make him grovel and treat him like poo-poo for a while. And then once you prove that you're not poo-poo and you're not a dumpster monkey, then he'll be like, okay, I'll, I'll give you more chances. Well, I mean, he put Cody on the title, and Cody smashed his throne at All In. Yeah. The first All In, the, the original pay-per-view that was before AEW existed. Who knows what Cody's had to do to make sure that that still happens. You know what I mean? Like, where he's at. Right. Who knows how much on his knee time he's been doing. Like Usher. Getting the pee diddled. Yeah. Uh, P. Cole says, yeah, absolutely, since the pure babyface is a champion now. We have to find potential baddies, big name adversaries. Right. And we got two in this one, right? I mean, Bobby, Cody hinted at Bobby. He said his name twice. The yeah. crowd didn't like him much. And then you've got Santos. I don't know who's in the other triple threat. I, somebody said it earlier, but I don't remember their names. Sorry. Uh, Sophie says, did you see Dave Meltzer have, like, Jimmy and Jay, like, 0.5 stars? No. I didn't. Sophie, why, first of all, I, why would I care about Dave Meltzer's rating? Like, in my entire life of watching wrestling, I've never once go, oh, well, I like that match better now because Dave Meltzer gave it a 4. Oh, he gave mm. it a 5. Oh, that's the greatest match ever. Right. Like, he... and. And I get it, but Savage and Steamboat is arguably the greatest match ever, right? Like, you can take any other match and put it up against that one, and you could lose an argument because that match is so great. It was on the same card as Andre Hogan, and I guarantee if you ask anybody that's old enough that watched that shit, they would have rather watched Hogan and Andre that night. Right. It was... A transcendent match. It, it it changed the fabric of wrestling forever. That match. But mm -hmm. it was... What would you give it? A one star? But it is the greatest match in WWF history. <laughs> but it... I mean, you could give it a point two five. Right. Andre couldn't even walk. Andre literally had a back brace on under his trunk. Oh, no. And they locked him into... So they had these rings mm -hmm. that they would bring the wrestlers to the ring with. Right. Because Andre couldn't walk. Oh, shit. So he was locked into it so he could stand upright. Oh. As they got him to the ring, mm -hmm. then they obviously unbuckled him. He gets in the ring and has a freaking four-minute match. Well, it was longer. Probably a six-minute match with Hulk Hogan in the main event. What? Nothing. Just talking. About Andre not being able to walk? Right. And that's the greatest match in wrestling history. Like, it just is. Like, uh -huh. any any countdown you'll ever see, anything anything that means anything, it's Andre Hogan is number one. It uh -huh. always is. Every countdown you'll ever watch. Now, the newer fans obviously didn't watch it, so they don't understand it. 
Oh when God, you got 50 God. million people watching a match at home, it's different. It hits different. Right. When you think of how many watch people watch Cody just lose. That's it. LA wins night one or round one, whatever this is. LA night. I didn't know. I thought the match was already over, so I was going to ask who won. I didn't know all that shit was part of the match. Is that going to be a normal with Triple H? We saw that in the main event, too. I don't know, maybe. Like, matches aren't going to have an ending without a bunch of drama in them. Like, I mean, that was well, crazy. Well, I think with these groups, they will. Because these are both groups, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the only one that didn't have anybody help him was LA Knight. Mm -hmm. The other two had groups. You had Bobby with the Street and Profits. And then Santos with his group of people. And then you got this group of people. That doesn't look good in that. She looks like she's dead. She looks I like know, she uh, looks sick, doesn't she, she? Yeah, she looks like uh, the, the monsters. The monsters lady. The monsters, yeah. Zoe says, I thought Cody promised once he won the big championship, he will debut the new design. I saw the clip of Will Ospreay talking bad about Triple H. When I see that, I think sour grapes. Pico says, when did BFAB become part of the of this faction? Of the uh, about faction? a month ago. Well, see, her one boy got fired. And um, stuff. And then the other one, I Ashante. don't even know where the fuck he went. I think he was in NXT last time I saw Mr. Shitty and the big guy who got the lost weight, or like the old cash. man, he literally got canned. What was his name? Pay Cash or? I don't know. Mo Money? Mo. Sure. You're not going to get it out of me because I don't know and don't care. So he says, I think once the draft ends, we could see new championship designs. Yep. Nicola says, I'm digging Bobby's vest, Michigan State Spartan colors. Oh, I didn't even see it. Cool. Sophie says, do you think they will give The Rock the championship? No. Why was no audio in that video? Because it was like... Um, it's a security... It, security footage. Security cameras normally don't have audio because it takes up too much space on your hard drives. Yeah. Sophie says, AEW only got like 8,000 and some fans in the ratings. Sophie says John Cena and Randy Orton both debuted in the two championship era during the first grand split. Bobby says, B, no need to question WWE, just expect what they do. Yeah. Um, or accept. Uh, Sophie says, if Will Ospreay signed with WWE, where would he be right now? Probably in the same area as like um, LA Knight, kind of in that type of situation. Like, it like depends on if they wanted stuff, to make him as a as a baby face or a heel mm. but I would assume say he debuted at Mania and he was a baby face mm -hmm. then he would be wrestling Logan Paul at, at SummerSlam or something. right if he was a heel he would be wrestling uh, Sami Zayn maybe or something I feel like they would put him right at a mid card title match but he wouldn't win it mm -hmm. in his first match right Ravi says, D, did you see that video of Triple H going G sneaker shopping? No, I don't watch any of that stuff. Sophie says, people are predicting that Damien could get drafted to SmackDown while Cody gets to stay on Raw. I could see them doing Cody versus Santos. Ravi says, Travis, where did SmackDown allow fuck up in this brand? They didn't want competition for Roman. And so they put a lot of talent over on the other brand. And then they had the top talent on SmackDown in other feuds. That's where they screwed up is they just they made Raw a little bit more top heavy. Like Charlotte in the in her prime. <laughs> but their women's division is fine for the most part. SmackDown, I think it had more women than Raw's at the time, but once they brought in the riffraff and then they put the title on Liv and then EO, I think that hurt the yeah. company it screwed them over bad. quite a bit for for the women's division, especially um, Liv Morgan, but that was more uh, what's her, Ronda Rousey's fault, that, and then that they let her do it is even worse. Sophie says Ivar also showed up in NXT this week and he debuted a new character. What huh. does that do for uh, what's her face, Sarah? Does uh. that get rid of her then? Was she with him? Pico says the thing is Osprey is getting spotlighted 
and a non-title holder. So I guess in TK's mind, he's getting a solid spot in the first hour. Yeah, but if you have somebody that you supposedly put all this money into to get on your brand from New Japan that's like this brings in the people and butts to seats and people are excited about, why why would you put him in, why wouldn't you have them main eventing a lot? At least every once in a while, for fuck's sakes. But yeah, I mean, having it in the first hour is great. Except for he he's wrestled Last week was Hobbs. This week's going to be, um, what's his name? The bald guy, but Cesaro. But before that, it was a nobody. Before that, it was a nobody. And they lasted too long. Mm. That's the problem. If you're going to have him wrestle nobodies, or at least that people don't know, unless you're a huge indie or Japan fan, he's got to run through those guys like a stoplight. You know what I mean? Like, he's just got to destroy them. And if you're going to bring in somebody from another company and try to make it like a legendary fight that matters, do it on Collision, or, or not Collision, but the Rampage or whatever on Friday, mm -hmm. where nobody cares, except for the, the specialized indie fans. Mm -hmm. Because there's not enough people, there's just not, that watch New Japan and then... The reason that New Japan doesn't have a television contract in America is because nobody watches it in America. I'm not saying it's not huge worldwide. It's just not in America. Yeah, it's not very popular. That's here. all I'm saying. So I'm not saying anything bad about the wrestlers or the talent oh, or no, anything. No, no. It's, you know, and they're wonderful people, everything. Like, the people that wrestle there, it's, it's fantastic. The thing is, is that nobody here cares. Mm -hmm. And so don't put it on your show when you're trying to make your show matter. Don't try to placate towards just the European fans and the Japanese fans when you're trying to get ratings in America, too. That's true. Make Definitely. America your bitch, right? And, but keep your European fans and then go global like WWE does. Mm -hmm. But do you think they really care about all these other countries that they're going to if their American brand was falling apart. Right. Like no. if they were getting no television, enough, I mean just dead in America, mm -hmm. they wouldn't be going to Le Dion, France, or whatever the fuck it's called, and no. Germany, and Europe, and... No. 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 They're going to be touring the U.S. and trying to put all their money behind their U.S. tour and their U.S. wrestlers and their U.S. spaces. Uh, Chris says, I just hope Triple H doesn't bring back Sasha. Why the fuck is the WWE Universe cheering for BFAB? <laughs> because they don't like Santos. So they hate anybody with Santos. So anybody against him is going to get cheered. Just so you know on that one. Here we so go. If it says people remembered Macho Man versus the Dragon, then Andre and Hulk more. He has so much going on. What a fluke. And Chris said LA wins while LA won. That is a surprise. He is like, perhaps, Ravi said. But it's not just each making decisions. He says, wait a minute. Marshmallow and Zelina have similar smiles, height, etc. <laughs> yeah. They're tiny. They're both tiny. Chris says people will say Hogan versus Goldberg best squash match. It kind of was because the crowd was intense and fucking Bobby Heenan on commentary made it sound like an actual sport. It was so awesome. And don't ever forget that usually these shows are done in basketball arenas. That match was done in the Georgia Dome or whatever. And it was packed. It was wow. a stadium. And it was a, a Monday Night Raw, but whatever the Smack or uh, WCW, yeah, WCW shows were. <laughs> That's funny. And they sold it out because it was Hogan, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then Goldberg was undefeated and he played college. And he's a bulldog. Yeah. So they sold out a football arena. Mm-hmm. Funny. And then Goldberg beat Hogan for the title. <laughs> and I hated him for a, right around a year and a half after that. Anybody that beat Hogan, I hated. He calls us. It's nice that Amy put on the docks during WrestleMania season. Very smart collaboration. True. Ravi says, D, I didn't know H had some sort of case on sneaker. I don't know anything about him. Quentin says, Ray didn't mention that last year at WrestleMania he beat his own son and spanks him. 
Sophie says, I like that they are teasing that main roster stars could get drafted to NXT. Robbie says, message retracted. And Sophie said, no, Valhalla wasn't with him. Tico says, I won't mention the Thor. What's your Thor? That guy? Some Trust dude? me, bro. Trust me, bro. So, Tico is source. Trust me, bro. But from a YouTube pod who I keep up with, he's explained, trust me, bro, has explained that a lot of the current TK antics are not as bad as when Paul Heyman was head of ECW or when Bischoff was with WCW. Dude, you know what they would do? I mean, if you were a WWF fan at in that era, you had to have hated WCW. And the reason was, is they pre-recorded their shit. Mm -hmm. And so they would just get on and give you a rundown of the matches, WCW. They would tell you every match and the outcome <laughs> at the beginning of the show. That's just and terrible. then they would go and, you know, because they had sources because they're wrestlers, you know. Right. And so, anyways, and then WCW was live. Mm -hmm. So nobody's going to watch the fucking reruns of somebody that lost. Right. You know, like, ugh. That's funny. So funny. Robbie says, That's some dirty shit. That's dirty. That is dirty. And then Vince, what did he do? He's went like, live. oh, I need to go live. He went live. And then they were still losing, so what did he do? Sex. Yep. Robbie says, D, Nudity. you are allowed to voice a comment on the comments you read. Am I? Sophie says, people compared this week's AEW to WCW 2000. Tegla says, I like shady promos and I don't know politics. Spitballing is something per usual between promo promotions over the years. This dude's terrible. Consequences lead change, so they're getting rid of Paul Heyman. Is that what he's doing with him? Oh, he's getting rid of Jimmy. Told you this is gonna happen. Oh no, not the Jimmy. Then him and Jay can get back together. <laughs> Paul's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Um. Uh, Sophie said Will Ospreay did think about joining WWE at one point before he, he signed him? with AEW. Maybe. Here, my, brother. my brother. Here it comes. He's going to grab him and then spike him. I love you. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. His arm's still on him. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. God. Jay. Oh no, it's his other brother. No idea who this is. That's the Tonga guy. That's their other brother. Isn't it? No idea who. I think this is the guy they said wouldn't join because Tama he's Tama Tonga. I think this is the guy they said wouldn't join because he's Tongan and not Samoan. And he actually does not like Romans. Well, and people maybe. are like, there's no way he'll join because he's Tongan. And they don't like Samoans. Uh. Uh. Another little guy. Yeah, they're both kind of small. Oh, well, what did I down. say? At least they're putting the Usos back together, right? Paul's like, no, no. Ah, oh, you broke in. This Power. is perfect. Now the Usos will be back together. And then they can feud with these guys. Because Jay will come out at some point. I don't know if he's coming out today, but. He's not going to allow his brother to get decimated. That's weird. Oh. Look at that. What the? What? The ones. Like he's going to do something without <laughs> Roman's permission. <laughs> no, you're good. You're fine. Oh, okay. Why is he oh, doing this? Oh, the bloodlines. All right, cool. <laughs> Call Roman Reigns. Oh, God. What, he in charge or something? He stomps with his toes. It's so weird. Right. Get the chair. Jimmy gonna come down? Oh, because he didn't want him calling anybody? Yeah. Oh. Because he said, call Roman Reigns. Put okay. his head in there. Poor Jimmy. He cracked corn and no one cared. 
you gonna fall back asleep or are you just gonna lay there all day? Can you maybe lay back this way again? No yeet! <laughs> Is he gonna do the stink face? Oh no. Um, Sophie says, Quick is open to look at other wrestling promotions once his contract expires sometime this year. Maybe he'll go to Japan. That'd That's be cool. good for him. He Cole says, Personally, we all get to eat. Having said that, competition has been as popular, toxic, whatever you want to call it, in decades. Yeah, love it. I, there definitely needs to be what's going on. Chris says, Gunther versus Cody with the right build would be like Hogan versus Andrade or Lex versus Yokozuna. Sophie says WWE is interested in Hook. Ravi says, Travis, you could easily debate against these so-called big wrestling and sports channels with your quality opinions. Sophie says, I can't believe for the second year in a row Solo didn't make the Mania card. Thank you. And Piccolo says, well, Sophie, that pod I mentioned brought up the Vince promo, Brett Screw Brett, after he left WWF and went to WCW, sort of parallel if you think about it. So he says, remember during the COVID era that Espen showed random Raw or SmackDown episodes? And Chris says, oh my god, Travis, on NXT there was this sexy woman by the name of Jada Parker. Her ass is so big and her <clears throat> open, her opponent as well was so hot as well. You have to check it out, Travis. Poor Chris. He doesn't have porn hub anymore, so he's <laughs> like, oh my god, these ladies on I'll NXT. To, I'm, I'll check out NXT. Sexy outfits and her big old booties in my face. Wow, wow. Poor Chris. But Chris is like the NXT women's roster is great, except that and that and I don't know what that one is. Uh, Piccolo says, right, the Nitro and Raw Monday Night Wars. LOL. It's like talking about the McCoys and the Hatfields. Yep. Yeah. Sophie says, Cody versus AJ Styles will be interesting. Um, Sophie says, remember when Nitro spoiled the time Mick Foley won the championship yeah. that turned the tide for WWE. Chris is like, oh shit, Tama Tonga. Tama Tonga. Sophie said, Jimmy versus Solo. I didn't see that coming. Tama Tonga, and they actually let him keep his the name, but will Jay forgive Jimmy, though? Yeah, of course he will. Robbie says, big up Travis for fixing the sound. Respect. Chris says, now Tonga Io will join Tonga Toma Tonga versus the Usos. And Sophie says, did they turn solo face? Sure, no. that's what that was. It, no. That was being a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> he sent his mom flowers. Is that flowers. what nice guys are now in wrestling? Wow, that's amazing. Chris says, Tonga and Io are the gorillas of destiny tag name in the Bullet Club. Robbie says, Travis, as you're part of the creative, how would you build this Cody storyline now he has title? I don't know. I, you know, I would have, and and it matters, right? Because babyface champions are really hard. It's easy for to have a have a heel. Right? Mm -hmm. Every match you can have in shady, and they're still pushing mm -hmm. the heel for or the yeah. babyface for. But once the babyface wins, it is so hard to do it right. As long as they do some of the things that I don't like in wrestling. Like, here's one. Cody gets beat up the whole time. True. And then wins. Yes. Don't do that yeah. with your matches. Don't let Cody get beat up the whole time by some heel that cheats and blah, 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 blah. And mm -hmm. then Cody just somehow pulls it out miraculously. Don't like it. Never like that style of booking. Um, as for the wrestlers he needs to wrestle, he needs to. they need to figure out... If it wants, if it's going to be against a faction, or if it's going to be some single wrestling first. Hmm. But I mean, if they want to keep it with the bloodline, then he's got to fight these guys. If they, if he's going to, um, I would put him up against Bronson Reed first. That would be my big one, and it would be a huge push where Cody gets attacked by Bronson, mm -hmm. and Bron that that's the reason you have the type, the Bronson Reed type. Right. You already did solo. Mm -hmm. And he already went through Solo to get to Roman. And he's yeah, already beat him too many yeah. times. So Solo can't be the guy. I don't think they should have him even near the Bloodline people for a while. Right. Like, I mean, they can 
make their sneering remarks and stuff like that, but I don't think they should have actual matches. But I would have Bronson just beat Cody to an inch of his life, and then it sets up like a cage match or, or something, mm -hmm. a la Hogan and King Kong Bundy WrestleMania 2, but it doesn't need to be on that big of a stage. Yeah. But things of that nature. Um, Drew McIntyre would be a good one. Now, we already know that we have Drew McIntyre and uh, CM Punk, so that's probably not going to happen. But I would have him go up against big guys that are really good, mm -hmm. that are scary at first. Right. And then I would have special events if they decided to do them. Uh, here's one right here. That would work, you know? Mm-hmm. And he's young enough to where when Cody beats him, it doesn't hurt him. Right. But the big dog here. <laughs> Sophie says it looks like they set up a Solo versus Roman feud at some point. Tequila says New Japan, homie. It's another bullet club. Oh, dang, my brain is not working. Whom is a collegiate athlete called that went to the school years ago? Alumni? <laughs> Alumni, yeah, that... So, I'm pretty sure that's what he was trying to go for. Robbie says, Travis, I rate your opinion. You know your shit, man. Well, thanks. Uh, Sophie says, the crowd was cheering when Solo did that to Jimmy. Sophie says, Solo did break the Roman phone when Paul was going to call. Yeah, that's... Roman, I don't know why Jimmy didn't expect that to happen to him since he kind of did that to Jay. And Chris says, oh shit, Braun Breaker versus Grimes. Bring Wardlow versus Breaker. And Sophie says, Paul looked legit surprised when Solo did that to Jimmy. Eagle says, so that Tongan guy was part of the Bullet Club when Machine Gun and Gallows were. The Bucks and so on were deep in New Japan. Oh, that's fun. This uh, this match should not last too long. So if it goes over like five minutes, I'm going to be pretty upset. Quentin's like, no bread, no water, just meat. Yeah. Uh, Pucol's like, oh my god, alma mater. That's the alma freaking mater. term. Alma mater. Okay. Alma mater. Uh, Sophie says, I say keep Cody strong until he faces the rock and whatever. Um, that happens. He goes, I guess it was a bad week to quit amphetamines. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> big, big whiff, super kick. Did you see that? Yeah. He goes, says, yeah, alumni. And Robbie says, do we expect Drew to get redemption? Well, they're going over to his, their home, his home country. So At some, some point, point, so yes, he some will. Some kind of redemption has got to happen. And it'll probably him. against uh, Punk, but he could lose that. Yeah. If he's going to wrestle Punk, because Punk, I don't think they brought him there to be nothing. To just be a job. Pansy, be yeah. a pansy bum. So if he says, I'm surprised they had Tahama Tonga debut on the main roster already. Robbie says, What do we see Bailey do with the title? Are you leaving? Do you need to leave? That's what I'm talking about. Pay attention, Tony. That should have been the Will Offspray yeah. match, right? Yes. He ran through him. It was two minutes. Thanks and for letting that happen. And supposedly is good because he's Cameron Grimes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. Thank you. Sophie says, I thought they would have Tom and Tonga debut on the next. Yeah. yeah it, to me, it, does, it doesn't that. matter. Why not just throw him in the bloodline if they're going to do it? Yeah. He looks like them, even though he's a different... Nationality, nationality completely. <laughs> That's like he is part of uh, part of those uh, part of the Islanders and stuff. It's like putting Zia Lee with uh, Riff Raff. <laughs> Saying kind of yeah, they're close. It's I kinda... bet you their islands are closer than I think those they are. ones. Yeah. My buddy. Has yeah. It's good because my hand was yeah. asleep. I couldn't fill anything in it. I was wondering how you were going to make it. But you went like an hour. My whole hand is asleep. Not these two fingers as much, but this whole part of my hand from my elbow yeah. is just was completely numb. I was like, I can't fill anything. And it was starting to progress into the rest of my hand. I'm like, oh, God, it's going to fall off. Stop dying. It's <laughs> that stupid that part right there in your elbow. <laughs> Funny bow. <laughs> that stupid thing right there falls asleep all the time. If I lean on it too much or have it oh, bent too long sometimes. 
Anyways, let's see. Um, oh, Robbie had that question. I don't know if you answered it. Sorry. Um, what do we see Bailey do with the title? Yeah, right? That's a tough one. That's why I didn't think they would put it on her. She's showing cleavage tonight, though. They yeah. don't usually do that with her. Um, That one, that was what I was worried about. Yeah, that is going to be a different one of what because they're going to do. Because she's not a... He baby face and she's not a heel yeah she's hated by all oh bianca's gonna go after her. remember she like kind of came at her a little bit before um because of her you know getting beat up or something and then crybabying about it and the loser quitter um right. felt sorry for her and bianca was like you should feel sorry for her she did that to herself i'm just hoping it's not jade <laughs> i don't want to. but how jade things either. have been going lately it's jade Ugh. like that's just how things have been just going. Have her, just have her beat up a few more people like she did What's Her Face. Just Chelsea Green. Have her do some more of those. Get of her course. out there. Give her some time in the ring. Give her, you know, beat up people that are easy to beat up and then slowly go up to people that aren't as easy. Something. Getting spanking. Um... Walter is in the chat for just a second, says hello. Just came by to say hello. I saw Ordinary Angles, good movie. Travis is 24, not 23. Oh, did you not change? Did you put it 23 on our show part? You must have. It's probably been 23 all year then. I don't even know what month No, it it's, it, you put 24. I saw it 24 when I did something with it. Anyways, and then Walter said bye. He'll see us on Monday. Cool dog. All right, Walter, thanks for dropping by. Glad you enjoyed your movie. We'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Uh, watch some UFC if you can. It's uh, UFC 300 Saturday. Tomorrow. Uh, so he says, I thought they would have Tama Tonga debut on NXT first. Do you think Braun Breaker will get a main roster championship at some point this year? It'll be in May. May. Oh, no, we're May. in April. Just, he just barely have us on this one. No. Uh, Triple H likes these longer title reigns, and so I feel like we're going to get a couple. But it really also is going to depend on how they do the draft. Right. Yeah, that's true. That is the truth right there. Because, I mean, that's going to be a big, a big thing. Uh, that and how, how, what they'll do with Bailey with the title, too. That'll be another thing. And even some of Cody's storylines, too. Uh. Pico says, so Ravi, did you enjoy much the combination of Missy Elliott and Timberlake when they first came out? <sighs> Sophie said, wonder what Roman thinks of what Solo did to Jimmy Paul said, <coughs> Roman didn't want you to do this. Pico says, I was just listening to a pod in the garden about the song, Get, Get Your Freak On. <laughs> Roy says, D, if you're a wrestler and if someone in the crowd boos you as you walk to the ring, do you choose to ignore it or play along with it? Well, I guess it depends. Are you a bad guy? I mean, are you a heel or are you a face? I mean, like, you know, because if you're neutral, you don't give a shit. I mean, if you're a, if you're a heel, you'll be like, that's right, boo me. You know, I'd be like, boo hoo 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 hoo. And if you're a face, you probably would ignore it as well because you're not going to give any time to the people booing you. You want to give time to the people that are cheering you to kind of get it to be better. Um, Sophie said once CM Punk is fully healed up, the main event scene will be even more open. Well, he supposedly is really healed up because he wouldn't have been able to do some of the moves he did on Drew if he wasn't. So either he's kind of cleared or to the point of being per cleared, cleared. Sophie says, what do you do with Logan Paul with the championship since he doesn't wrestle every week? It's fine. He brings some relevance to it, and that's all right. People talk about it. That's what you want. Pico says, hello, I used to do that. And whenever my ex would sit on my lap to be cute, and I won't talk about losing all feeling of my legs. Ha ha. <laughs> Sophie says, UFC 300, they should put that on Peacock or Netflix. Pico says, oh yeah, y'all, I am proud to say that new episode of Cops are mostly footage Pensacola Beach shenanigans. Oh, my. So he says, I enjoy Timberland, Timberland and Timberlake together. 
Ravi says, Cola, yeah, Missy, Aaliyah, and Timberland were cold, especially with Aaliyah. Um, Anchal, edit in the chat. Hey, Anchal, how's it going? Sex, huh? Cool. Sophie says, remember the show Cold Case? Sure do, Sophie. Nicole says, figure I see some baby daddy fights and some Florida man running half naked away from a Scambia County Sheriff's. <laughs> Jeez. Aaliyah. Uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Nicole's like, Aaliyah, yes, rip. Gone way too soon. Yeah. Yeah, she was definitely a talent that, and she was really pretty too. Sophie says, there is news of a cold case reboot. Huh, interesting. Bobby says, D, what is good? You chilling tonight? Who's P. Diddy? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, who's yeah, what's his name, though? Uh, Tip Tom Girl. Uh, R. Kelly? Yeah. Oh, that poor girl. Well, you know she was being taken advantage of. In a mysterious plane accident? <laughs> I can hear the quotations in the air, sweetie. <laughs> Well, it, it really is. Like, I mean, what happened to her was just a fucking weird, like, you know, you wish they could go back and do some investigation on that crap because you know they didn't investigate it like they should have. <clears throat> so he says, do you expect Bailey and Damian Priest to be transitional champions? Um, I feel like Damian is. I'm not sure about Bailey though. And I don't know what Travis thinks about that. Did you hear the question? He says Damien is a transitional champion as well. Um, I expect that to be what it is, whether or not he holds it for a couple months or, or as long as EO kind of held it. I don't know, but yeah. Sophie says Aaliyah was set to be like what Beyonce is now. Nah, more, way more, way, way more than Beyonce ever could dream of being. Aaliyah was just on another level. Um, she had talent and she was so pretty. Like, she was just so pretty. Like, it was just one of those things. Yeah. She's like, oh, that's great. They're yelling her name. She's like, that sounds so good. And now she's just talking about how good it felt. Is she going to bring back the little thing? She's got bigger blood in. I don't think so. I want her guys. Her little waving arm guys. Wacky waving arm guys. Stop Pick me with your nasty, shreddy things. Your claws. Um, Is every champion a Latino? What do you mean? Is it Cody? Cody's not Latino. His mom is. Is she? Wow. I had no idea that she was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's uh, either Cuban or Puerto Rican. Really? Huh. Well, that's cool. Damien. Damien. That's both world champions. Who's the other woman's champion? Um, oh, Rhea. Rhea. So, no. No. The tag teams definitely aren't. Yeah. The, um, or crew. International isn't because Sammy's not. Logan Paul isn't. Sammy's like the Del Taco. Yeah. Yeah, but he's. Uh, no, he's Syrian. Yeah, I was like, he's from over there or that. I mean, Logan. Lives in Puerto Rico. That's where his house is. Right. Right. So he's not. He's just the one. Oh, sorry, buddy, but I had to move. You're hot, and it's warm in this office, and you're warm, and it's gross. I hate My it. Dog was so warm, like it was hot. I know. He was in the yeah, he was right here, here too, and I'm just like, I'm dying. I'm dying. You're dying. You're on my feet. You're on me, and you're warm, Brody. Bailey, forfeit the title. Yeah, right? Go retire. I'm just kidding. But I feel like the streak is over. <laughs> uh, She's like, I'm going to go spend some time on myself. <sighs> oh. He calls that Kells. Chris says, I'm sure Char will come back for Bailey. Yeah, she might. Oh, look at this, MJF. But yellow. Oh, my. He goes like, right. Oh, boy. Day zero strikes again. 
We said it earlier, Piccolo, so we've already got a strike. Chris says maybe Kai versus Bailey, and Sophie says there's news that Brock could come back to WWE TV. Bobby says, D, do you see more and more music artists will get found out over the years? Well, of course stuff's going to come out. I I'm sure it'll be with anybody. Chris says the Bailey buddies. Sophie says Damian next championship defense is against Jay. Chris says Bailey kind of does look half Latina. Piccolo says, right, she was a triple A threat, too. Chris says, oh, shit, Tiffany Bimbo looking like Clueless. Piccolo says, well, we have a challenger. Street Fighter music interrupts Bailey's promo. <laughs> Sophie says, Logan and Rhea for a second. I thought they would lose their championships this past weekend. Robbie says, Tiffany is going to go home counting stars like One Republic when Bailey is finished with her. Sophie's like, Tiffany, really? I heard the, I heard the loser, I heard the quitter. Quitter. Hopefully Tiffany wipes the floor with her. <sighs> Should, but it's not gonna happen. Piccolo says, "When did this trend of writing things in Boo's hair?" No idea. Well, I think that her other quitter friends started it, and they just kind of did the did it together, and now it's like a thing. It's dumb as fuck, but whatever. They look fucking dumb, and I don't, I don't appreciate quitters. So, so if he's like quitter versus Bailey, maybe. Come on, Tiffany. Oh, sure. Quitter. You're a quitter. You're a big fat quitter. I know. But if I was there, she would because I'd have a blow horn. Quitter! Motherfucking quitter! You're a stupid bitch! You're a quitter! 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 No, oh, they're fighting right now. Right at the tip. Loser! Quitter! Time. <sighs> By the way, the crowd's going to turn on her super quick because they love her. So, so, after all the work. Sophie says, quitter finally won a match since she came back this past weekend. Chris says, I think Char versus Bailey, Char wins title, then at SummerSlam, Char versus Tiffany, or even Mania. But I'd rather see Tiffany versus Jade at a SummerSlam or Mania. It was in the chat telling me to check my text, Bish. Where's okay. my dinner, Bish? Sophie says, whatever happened to that Tiffany versus Bianca feud that they teased before Mania? They had other shit to do, Bish. I feel like Bianca's on a different level. You she has to Tiffany, be at this point. You can't put Tiffany against Bianca. That's you can't. Right. Um, let's see. Sophie says, whatever. Oh, that. Ravi says, but she came back, so is she really a quitter? Yes. She'll always be a quitter. She quit on herself, her team, and everything else. So yeah, she's a quitter. Sophie says, I like the commercial previewing the draft. Fuel says, I thought it may have been ripped off from Ice Spice or Doja Cat or some other crap artist I have no reason to put effort talking about. <laughs> yeah, that. I've never heard of the Jojo Cat or whatever, but. Oh, did you guys get your puppy? There she is. There's the puppy. How old? How old is she? Have to bring her over. Get your shoulder. Yeah, she has to have all of her shots before you start doing weird shit with her. Yeah. Can't take her anywhere without her shots. Yeah, and I don't even know how safe your guys' yard is. You guys might have parvo. Who's your vet? Hard to get into a vet anymore. Sophie's like, people called Edge a traitor when he joined AEW. And Robbie says, let's, talk, let's not talk about the quitting anymore. Why? Because you're a quitter too? Quitter. Quitter. Are you going to quit talking about the quitter? Never, because be that would quitter. be a quitting. It says, yeah, haha, ha. she's tiny. She'll be eight weeks and two days. Yeah, so she's probably had her first shots of Parvo. Do not take her anywhere and put her down. Ever. Yeah, you can carry Until her. she has her all of her boosters for Parvo. Where's I mean it. 
I really do mean that because Parvo has been really bad in this area and with it warming up like this, it's going to get bad. Do not. I don't care whose yard it is. I don't care if they have other dogs or anything unless you know specifically that they do not have and not had have Parvo in their yard. Do not. Do not. Take your dog there and put him down. Do not go to dog parks. Don't go to parks. Don't anything like that. Nowhere until she's had all of her booster shots. I'm not kidding. You take her to like Petco or Pet Smart or anything like that. Do not put her down. You carry her everywhere. You do not let her walk around. I just want to make sure that she doesn't get dead or sick. Because that terrible. shit can be gross. It's horrible. They die and it can be very costly to save them. So I'm just trying to make sure that nothing bad happens. And if you got her, hopefully I don't know when you got her. The first thing you guys should have done when you got her was make sure she pottied outside and not bring her inside and put her down. So that she knows outside is potty. Because <laughs> that's going to be fun because she's a little dog. Every two hours, potty. It's going to be fun. Good luck. <laughs> Dale's like, Ayla, do you have a tiny teacup pup? No, she's got a little mini dashing. Or Dash Hound, or whatever you want to call him. Dotson. Dashin. Oh, he says LLB every week. You're a quitter, too. They need to uh, take Paul Heyman and put him somewhere else. What the hell does that mean, right? Like, I don't know what's oh, this happening. Match started. They're like, we don't care this much for the quitter, so we're not going to show that part. Probably. But yeah. Well, I'll go for one of them. Totally for Tiffany. The other one's a quitter. I don't care. She could go find herself in a dumpster for all I give a shit. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a full blackout in this one. She's got like a tiny crap old Debbie Hammer. Sophie uh, says fans seem to forget quit or quit the WWE. And Chris says, Travis, there's another girl in MCT by the name of Carmen Petrovic. She carries a sword like Kill Bill. She, yeah, too, oh has yeah. a nice ass. So uh, many NXT cakes. There is... NXT is stacked full of women right now. It's a really good brand. The, the men suck. There's no good men over there. But the women are... It's deep. The women have a huge future in the, on the main roster. But they're going to have to do something in the men's division. Or else you're going to get Hermie and Mighty Mouse and whoever else. Baron Corbin doesn't count. Right. That's not your future. Exactly. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Picola says, uh, oh, yeah, so that docuseries I had mentioned about cyber sleuths in Idaho, yeah, it's about the formers of Moscow that went down a couple of years back. Huh. Four murders. Are you talking about the, the college, college kids? That just happened last year. Pretty sure it was just last year. He's hitting her in the ovary. Not the ovary. Jimmy's not using it anyway. True. So if it says so we won't see Jimmy on WWE TV after a while. People For a while, yeah. Possibly. Sophie said, remember that mania behind the scenes documenta documentary the WWE promised to debut this week. They lied. They haven't finished filming stuff for it yet. Those bastards. Lion punks. Chris says they only have whooped that trick. <laughs> so if he yeah. says, I wonder if Tamatonga was always the plan to replace Jimmy in the bloodline before tonight. Pico says, wait one dang minute. Hermie had a six star match with Gunther according to Ahem Meltzer. Ew. You know, there again. That sounds like If garbage. Meltzer said so, then it has to be true. By the way, I did watch that match. That was the only match I've ever watched at the NXT UK ever. Right. And it was, I was like, I'm going to start watching that. Thursdays at like 1 o'clock. I'm going to try it. Yeah. And that match happened to be the main event, and it lasted forever. But Gunther did win. And then he went on to lose to the same guy in a shortened match in NXT when uh, Hermes showed up. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, come on, Tiffany. This match is close to a crawl, and I get it that Naomi can't wrestle. 
Eagle's like, oh, my bad. So what's the hype on the new North American champ, the African brother? Uh, I don't know what the hype is about him. I mean, obviously, he's a good one. There is a few guys down there. I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying that the ones that they've been trying to showcase over the last year aren't the answer. Right. That was hilarious. So she... She, I don't know if Naomi just wasn't ready for it or what, but she was on the outside of the ropes and she wasn't really quite holding on very good, I guess. And Tiffany shoulder blocked her, you know, in the gut. And uh, Quitter, like, almost fell. Like, she kind of lost her balance a little bit. And so Tiffany grabbed her around the back to hold her in. <laughs> Fuck. That's called bad wrestling right there on Quitter's part. <clears throat> Sophie says, maybe Tamatango and Solo won't be part of the bloodline. Maybe they do their own thing. Maybe. Maybe. Jen, Jen freaking Ping sa- is in the chat. Hey, Jen. Says, breaking news. Tony Khan had a heart attack at home and fell to the ground. CM Punk opened champagne as soon as he heard the news. <laughs> <laughs> so many people would love that to be true. He's going to get drunk. Sophie says, at least this is an easy way to get Jimmy and Jay versus Solo and Tama at some point. Yeah, just a simple... Simple booking sometimes works really good. Mm-hmm. Feels like, well, how about that, book. Jen? I'm still can't trust you, homie. Don't think you can make legit shrimp fried rice. <laughs> Sophie says it'll be interesting to see what Jay thinks about what happened to Jimmy. If he thinks anything about it at all. No, he'll be up. Slow booking, though. Triple H is a slow booker. Oh, my God. Spring game. Nobody cares. I just wish that the Astros would have stayed in the National League so that the Rangers and Astros could play in the World Series. And this would have been the time that it would have happened, like this last decade. Rangers won it last year. Right. Back when they had the killer bees, they were headed there. Right? Bastards. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh-oh. Oh. Come on, Tiff. Oh, no. Take the trash out. <clears throat> Chris says, Travis, I know you like the baby, but there's a rapper you should check out. Goes by the name of Boss Man Glow. Boss Man Glow. D-Lo, maybe? Boss Man d He looks like Powerhouse Hobbs, but he kind of funny the way he raps, but he gets you hyped up for sure. Pico says, me, on the other hand, Uncle Roger would slap his mama for another bowl of my fried rice. That's good to know, Pico. I've heard that Uncle Roger is a very uh, big critic when it comes to people and fried rice making. Yeah. He's, like, really mean about it, too. He's, like, worse than Gordon Ramsay. Uncle Roger? No, he's an Asian guy who, like, oh, okay. does um, stitches with people who make fried rice. And um, he makes fun of them when they do things terrible and how Tiffany's awful leg. it'll be. Oh, it was under the rope. She didn't yeah. need to kick out. She couldn't even, she didn't even need to kick out. And that's bad refing and bad um, Twitter rustling. So there you go. Uh, so he says, but they had been have been pushing Jay as a main event act for a long time. I don't see them putting the Usos back together. Pico says, Kay, I'm going to get cleaned up. Talk amongst yourselves. Alright, you go get cleaned up. So if he says, if they do get the Usos back together, I want Jimmy to find interesting ways to convince Jay to get the Usos back together. It's going to happen. 
Yeah, it's going to happen so much in the slows. That's it. That's F. If she hits her with this, it's over. Nope. Here we go. Chris says, also, if anyone in the alt music scene, there is, a I guess, a rock or heavy metal band by the name of The Garden. They are like two guys with kiss style face paint, so that will go well with copyright. And they can... How, where's her nipples? I'll leave her nipples alone. Well, it's not a Why are you worried about her nipples? Well, they don't exist. Like her Sof whole tits are out. Sophie right? says our truth tweeted that his cousin is in a hospital for some reason. Oh. Chris says, but a lot of the alt girls love those motherfuckers. And uh, Sophie says, Logan Paul gifted the guy that helped him with a car. Nice. Good for him. Helped him what? Oh, look at him give participation trophy shit to the quitter. Ayla says, I had to rewind. My phone died. Yes, I know. I don't want her sick at all. The women said we got her first round of shots and we need to get her in a few days for her eight-week shots. Yes. yes. Sophie says, so Quitter and Tiffany are 1-1. One, one. Yep, I guess so. <clears throat> Ew. What do you mean? Drew Barrymore. Oh, yeah, I don't like her. That she did. She was raised with it, basically, so it wouldn't be surprising if she became one. All she probably knows how to do. I think she was addicted to coke when she was like 12. Like the rest of them? Like Downey Jr. Mm hmm. And uh, the Corys and shit oh, that yeah. they fucking did. And Jesus Christ. Charlie Sheen's all giving it to Corey. Uh huh. Give it to me, baby. Is that the one that died? Yeah. The one that killed himself with mm -hmm. drug overdose? Yeah, Feldman, he tried to, like, kid him to ta tell his story, and then Feldman tried to tell his story, and then people, like, call him crazy. Well, everybody's crazy when you say something about somebody. You know, Corey Feldman said the only guy that did try to him in music was Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. They all say it about him. The only one that didn't try. Michael, uh, Macaulay Good. Culkin. Uh-huh. Macaulay Culkin says the same thing. Like, if you listen to these boys oh, talk about him, it's, it, like, it's I never understood. The catch and release. Oh, catch and release. Uh, oh, he is part of the triple threat match. Mysterio, Owens, and Styles is the next one. Styles. Because we're going to have to have another AJ versus LA Knight. Because LA won the first one. Yeah, but it has to be a heel. He's the only heel left out of the four. That's the only reason why he said it. Oh. I wasn't thinking of storyline. Oh, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> those are supposed to be done for, but they won't be. They'll they'll pull that one out of their buttholes. Uh, so it says, uh, funny, Quitter has been getting pushed and Sasha hasn't wrestled since she first debuted in that other company. Yeah, they're waiting for their 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 dynasty pay per view. By the way, Ayla says I don't plan on taking her anywhere right now. How long does Parvo live on surfaces? <laughs> Nine years. Google About two years. <laughs> two years. Just a, a good two years is a good rule of thumb. Two years. In the ground, it's a little bit different, but two years basically. But if you have it on like a sidewalk or something, you can just spray it. Bleach. You just not full on bleach, but diluted bleach. It's like what a fifty. Yeah. What was it that they had us I do? Think I did like an eight to one, but I think it's twenty to one or something. Yeah. I just poured bleach in the thing and then poured water in. Yeah, it. we yeah. did that when we had that issue. So, um, but yeah, I don't think I've ever been so sick of smelling bleach in my entire life. And every time I smell it now, it's like PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's magical and delicious. And it just brings up bad memories. Orange and stuff like that. Just Mr. Orange. Just makes me sick inside. 
Sophie says, so LA Knight versus AJ Styles too. And knowing WWE, they'll do that third one to break the tie. How long did it take you to wait before you could take your dog anywhere? I took him places. I just carried him everywhere I took him. You'll carry him to the vet. You'll carry him around every, And they're tiny, so it's easier. Um, when we had our bigger dogs, I didn't take them. I didn't take them anywhere until they were had all their shots. After the third vaccination. Yeah. Ayla says, what vet do you use? I was thinking Hawthorne. Yeah, that's where we go. I don't know if they're taking new people, though. You'll have to do it for a grandma. And then they'll let you in, but you... Yeah, I don't know if they're taking new clients. You you can... You can get new dogs, like, right? Like, we can get a dog. Yeah, well, we, yeah. That's like, the, we're, we're, we're not new name. clients, though. We're... That's we are clients there clients already. Name. I just don't know if they're taking actually new clients. So I'm not sure how you would go about it. I guess you could always, like... Call and ask. Call and ask if they're taking new clients. And then if they say no, don't give them any information. And, and just then, say, oh, okay, thank you, and then hang up the phone. And then have Grandma call it in. And then have, yeah, and then have Grandma call it in and be like. I'm hey, bringing my new puppy in to get Hey, it. I got a new puppy. I need to bring it in for, you know, shots. My granddaughter's going to bring her in or whatever. Then it might be under Grandma's name instead. I don't think that'll be her. But, but I don't know. But once he's in, it's in the, or she's in, sorry. It's good. What's her name again? Blondie? Um, I would say name her Blondie, but Corn supposedly I'm terrible. <laughs> so awful. Poor dog. Fucking Jordan's such a moron. If he really names that dog that, he's an idiot. Like, I mean, like on a major scale of idiotness. He just wants to stand outside and yell Corn. Not only did he like go down in the ranks of stupidity for me, but it's like, dude, let's not do that. Try to find a name the dog actually listens to, for I one. I go through every letter. Do you know uh, how long uh, it takes you uh, to name an duh. animal? Because sometimes they won't come to certain sounds or the way you say certain words. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Wow, they sold out already? This was already happening. This was leading up to... Oh, I see. Uh, it was like, I was thinking Hawthorne, uh, Sophie says, uh, my dog used to go to the dog park, but hasn't gone because of some dog virus that has been rumored to be around for months. Yeah, that's that coughing one. That's that pneumonia one. It's funny. They had a big thing about it and now it's like not there anymore. So who knows? It was like, okay, I'll do that. Thanks. And Sophie says, finding a vet is sometimes hard, especially if you don't have the money for it. When you guys leave the house, do your pets cry for you? The cat? No. He doesn't care. Um, our oldest dog, he does not care either. Um, when we had our other two German Shepherds, the only one that had a meltdown was the female Megara. She had a really hard time with, um, what do you call it? Separation, Separation anxiety. Um, little man, he just chews on shit he's not supposed to, so there's that. <laughs> Wellington. Yeah, so you cannot leave anything for him to get a hold of and chew. Either that or you put him in his kennel, one or the or other. Gunther. And then he doesn't cry, he just goes. Yeah. Did they say dead. why they gave up on Gunther? Was it because of his visa? Yeah, I want to know, like, why they gave such a garbage heap something like that. It's just gay as fuck. And they're like, look, he does so great. And it's like, you're a fucking retard. Nobody cares about you. Obviously, Logan's still champion because they're having SummerSlam in his hometown, and they want it to be a big deal. So, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think he'll lose it. Right. Sophie says they have, like, 18 sellouts. Nice. Sophie says my dog had separation anxiety when we first got her, like, seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. You have to kind of... I mean, I don't know if... I don't know if... How old your dog was when you got her? But sometimes that's just from trauma issues that you can work on if you want to. But it's hard if you're a person that's home all the time because if you're there all the time with them, the separation anxiety just is there. Like, you leave and they're like, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> 
do the math. That's 650. Right. They came from me. And my people. Crime team. 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 Hey, Chelsea. Chelsea Green, finally. I didn't get to watch her match on Friday, or Monday. Oh, look, it's Lipner in again. Piper Nevin. Who are they going to lose to? I don't know. Who's their tag team ladies people right now, anyways? Uh, the Kabuki Warriors. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is she going to wrestle Jade and Bianca? Who's in there? He's not insufferable. <laughs> He's like, oh god. <laughs> I've been warned! I've been warned about you! Postman <laughs> Pierce told me all about you. Chris is like, Chelsea Green. Sophie says, do you suspect Logan to lose the championship at SummerSlam? I do. Sophie says, my dog cries whenever me and her mom leave the house for a second. And Piccolo says, let's see who we got. Now, who's it going to be? Who's he going to go up against? That's Jade, right? I think that's Jade. Yeah, it's Jade. And Bianca would be my guess. Right? I agree, people. They screwed up on this. So says, are we going to see a call up in this match? No. Google says, I have a bad feeling about this, Gappy. And uh, Chris says, yeah, don't like Bianca and Jade tag team. Literally a Vince McMahon playbook. Yep. God was creating human beings, <laughs> that's what they were aiming for. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, bad news, Barrett. Oh. Did he? Mm -hmm. huh. I mean, stuff is like Jade and Bianca. That's a great thing for Bianca. Oh, I thought we would see an NXT team in this match. Nah. Silly. Nope, we're not. We're going to see... We're going to see the downfall of Jade Cargill's career with WWE right here. They keep pushing this show. Well, if Chelsea can't beat these girls... Maybe she shouldn't be in the league. She already got beat by Jade. I know, I'm joking. I know, squash match of weirdness. Piper's okay, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, ducks it. Pop up, spine buster. There comes Piper Nevin. She should have started out the match. Right? <laughs> Bianca going to put her on her back? No, she wants Jade. 
She's so stinking cute. Jade, she's mm. smiling. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Grabbed her by her weave. Uh-oh. Piper. Chris says, oh, shit, Uncle Glitch during the match. Maybe. Our Pickle says, complete disappointment. No Teddy Long short appearance. I found you some opponents, playa. So <laughs> right. he says, if Jade... The Undertaker, playa. <laughs> <laughs> if Jade was still in AEW, where would she be right now? Uh, you know... She'd probably uh, be on the shelf, because Tony Khan doesn't like these kind of ladies. He doesn't like the pretty ones. Oh. What was that? She got mad. Chelsea did play along. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> Once Jade takes off on her own, she's going to be a stud. I just don't like her being with Bianca. It's well, it's because now she can play second fiddle. Like Trick with uh, Carmelo. It's that same thing. It's Eventually dumb. she'll overtake, but for a while she's going to play second. Right, well, it's just bad business. It's it is. Bad. It makes Bianca look bad, too. It's like, think, why would you ruin somebody else's career to make a career? It makes no sense to me, you fucking dumb asshole. And you wonder why your women's division sucks ass. Here is a prime example. Kevin Owens. Him. That's another reason why the women's division sucks ass. He they... really needs to gross boobs better and fucking wear a dress once in a while. Right. Somebody's hiding behind that pole. Hey, look. Tiger. I'm keeping this. Uh. Chris says, but I do like that Bianca getting jelly like she looked shocked that Jade won quick. Right. She goes, says, barely finished lotioning my legs. Match is already done. It's kind of funny that you're lotioning your legs. Dominic just sucks. So he says it'll be interesting to see what they do with Baron Corbin now since his partner got called up to the main roster in Braun. So he says Jade did say she signed with the WWE so her career could grow. Yeah. Triple Chief is in the chat. So La Sequoia versus Roman Reigns soon. Okay. Yeah, probably next year. Like says, early next year, maybe. Is this the main event? It's not going to matter. Solo can't hang with the big dog. I'm guessing it probably is yeah, the main event. Yeah, this is the main event. I just, we're probably, yeah, oh yeah. Only 14 minutes left. Sylvie so minutes. says, I don't see Jade in a tag team as the downturn of her career. I do. It's it's a, it's a It's lazy booking. You see it often, and then the tag team will split, and then they will fight each other. But it's lazy. They could have went another way. Look at Hokamania out in the crowd. Yeah. I think it's a lady. <laughs> I think it's a woman <laughs> dressed as Hulkamania. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was my baby dot when I saw him earlier. I was like, oh, man, oh, I think that's a girl. Nothing wrong with that. It's just kind of funny. Uh, Pico says, oh, never mind. Corey Graves be telling me tings. Sophie says, I like that we are seeing the gorilla position a lot more on WWE TV. What is that? You know that room that Sam or uh, Kevin was just in? The one right before you come out? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's that's the room where everything happens. Oh. So, like, if if Kevin, they don't do it, but if they were to turn to the left right there, and that corner is the is Triple H and whoever else it is, and they're telling the commentators what to say. It used to be Vince's position, but they call it the gorilla position. Oh. That's creepy. And, and, then, and then he said... 
um, Bruce hit my music, Bruce Pritchard, you know, like. Uh, Triple Chief says Solo Sequoia betrayed his brother Jimmy Uso, meaning Roman Reigns will return and enter into a feud with Solo and Tonka. Yeah, Maybe. Tonka trucks. I don't see it. I don't care about it. Sophie says, wonder what The Rock thinks of what Solo did to Jimmy. He probably told him to do it. I don't fucking know. Pigolo says, it's like when you watch the Gorilla Glue commercials, just like that, but it's, wrestling. Yes. Oh, okay. Like they glue the gate. Makes sense. If the gate broke. There's just some random weird gorilla guy just over there. It used to be Gorilla Monsoon. But it's a position, so, I mean, kind of gross. When I think of gorilla position, it is literally an overhead lift system. That's a gorilla press. Well, I understand in, like, weightlifting what a gorilla press is, but gorilla position, I don't think that's what that means. It's also a military press. Yes. Once again. A position with anything in front of it does not constitute what you're telling. <laughs> Sophie says HBK has like another role in NXT. Triple Chief says, how did um, uh, Tonga get into WWE? He's not into it in it. Um, He's there. He probably signed a piece of paper. It's that said he was going to make an appearance slash debut or contract type thing. And then he just showed up. He did his job. And they were like, oh my and god, there he is. then he attacked an Uso so the Usos can get back Dude, together. Dude, I don't know what they did in the back for him. We need the Usos back together. Caleb Hicks in the chat. Hey, Caleb says, let's go Kevin Owens. Want yeah. Kevin to win it, huh? I want Kevin to win it also because Kevin L.A. Knight would be a way better Way match. better than the AJ Styles L.A. Knight again. Again. And I think it's just fair to say that the LWO or somebody's going to interfere with Ray. Right. Because it's that group thing again. True. So if it says the commentators used to get yelled uh. at in their ears by Vince McFoley quit when he was a commentator for a short time. Triple Chief says, will Tom Tonka continue in WWE? So yeah. That looks like that's where he's at for yeah, now. Yeah, he signed a contract. He'll be there for three years, five years, somewhere in that Tom range. Tonga. Tonka truck. I think you need to like do something. I like played that thing like twice. I didn't know. It's fine. <clears throat> I just didn't know if you were paying attention to it. Sure not. It like did it and then did it again. Oh, sorry. That was I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not commercial. It's like play it and then it's like play it again. Eagle says, doesn't it sound better than the actual factoid about Grape, Gorilla, Villa, and Manila? I don't know. I think I'd rather hear, you know, factoids about Grape Ape, but you know. I Sophie says, Ape. but if they do Cody versus LA or Kevin, it will be a face versus face match, which sometimes doesn't work. Face versus face, and the winner goes on to wrestle a face. So not only that, but it has to be AJ wins this, and then AJ's Cody's first feud. Yeah. I don't know. Kevin Owens stole that belt from the back and he like flipped those guys as like really hard working work off of that table of folded shirts. Right. Like he was kind of a douche. So. And I also look at Kevin as a Randy Owens type. Right? Always, always have. When's he going to get angry and yell at people? Yeah. Yeah, that's usually what he does. He just yells. All Remember the time. when he was on the list and then he took the list and Jericho's name was on the list? Oh no. Jericho put himself on the list? No, he put Jericho oh, on the list. Oh, Kevin Owens put him mm -hmm. on the list. Because he was sick of him. being on the list. He turned on him. You just made the list. Was Jericho, like, confused? Like, he had dementia? Yeah, that's why he signed with AEW. Makes sense. But they made him champion. Their first ever. So he was like, that's fine. Sophie says, Bailey versus Quitter next week instead of waiting till Backlash. Triple Good. Chief says, I would have liked Isla Fatu to intervene in the story of Bloodline, not Tama Tonga. It still could happen. Give thanks time. Sophie says, I don't like AJ Styles' new theme music. Most people don't. A lot of people haven't liked it, warmed up to it, whatever. You are annoying. How is Ray not retired yet? I don't know. Is he not like his wife, you think? Maybe. 
That could be it. He just doesn't like it. He's like, home is dumb. It has nothing to do with his kid anymore. His kid's off on his own. The so other it's one like, is, why are you isn't she, like, married or some shit? It's like, why are you still here? So it was like, backlash is, like, May 4th. Yeah, May the 4th be with you. Maybe you've heard of it. It's Maybe a holiday. his kids, what they need to do is make him a grandpa, and that'll make him decide that he probably shouldn't be out there. I think that Rhea really do you wants think Dominic to party Do you think it's him. weird that Dominic is with Rhea and his daughter was with Buddy Murphy? Yeah, that's really weird. Hopefully they don't switch. Cross-contaminate? No, if they, if they switch, they'd be brother and sister. Oh, yeah, that'd be weird. It's kind of a movie you don't want to rent. No. They're not yeah. Step. What yeah. was her name again? Like Alicia or something? I Aaliyah. Can't Alia or Aaliyah. Like her that. name was like an A name. <sighs> Miss Dante. Uh, Aaliyah. Alia. Are you trying to irritate him so he leaves? Yes. Won't work. I know. Poor ears. Come on, AJ. Why don't you show people how to wrestle? Especially the fat Canadian. Ah, something's like WWE did release Rey Mysterio before. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. I don't oh want him dear. to release him. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just retire. He can like, retire. He's in the Hall of Fame. Who fucking cares? Like he can go retire. Go. Away. Unless he made terrible business decisions with his money, and that's why he still works. As he's Shawn Michaels, basically. Only his body stayed together better. Doesn't have cross-eyed issues. Five foot tall and weighs 170 pounds. Sophie says commentators say the number one contender will face Cody at Backlash for the championship. Yeah. Um. So you say that, but I've seen a horrific injury of an elbow. Ray Phoenix. One of those tiny little dudes. So. You know. It can happen. I will just say if if he was a different person, that would have been way worse. It just dislocated. Rawr. Like, he was back not too long after that. Rawr. Yeah, clean yourself. So it was like, didn't Rey Mysterio retire before? Yeah. Maybe. I'm pretty sure he left wrestling for a long time. Then he came back to help his son. But now that's over. He can go away again. Maybe he signed a contract for so many days or something. Not that I don't like Rey. It's just... Let's make way for some younger people. I remember they used to complain about the dinosaur staying around too long. But now it's different when it's Ray's a dinosaur. <gasps> Ray is a dinosaur. Ray is a dinosaur. Triple says, is the match between Ray, AJ, and Kevin the main event? It yeah, is. it's the main event. Yeah, there's about six minutes left. Miller and Miller. Why did that guy have his nails painted? Well, that's what you always say. What's wrong with him? Maybe he is the bad guy and he's a fruitcake. I don't know. Maybe that looks weird. He wanted it to be part of his, um, whatchamacallit. I just don't know why you would paint your fingernails pink if you were a sniper. Oh, okay. That's definitely not camouflage. Maybe he has children like little girl your daughter likes to paint your fingernails in the military why he's sniping people to death i don't know i don't maybe he's not a military guy maybe he's a, a hitman i don't know i don't want you itching yourself what was on the me. girl's name that was in spider-man and she was the vampire the little girl in the vampire show Kristen dunst yeah she's in it i saw her So if he's like, Ray did wrestle at that first All Out show. Did he? Oh my gosh. I had a buddy show up when that was on, and so I talked to him for a while. And that's when Kendall showed up. Mm -hmm. uh, so if he says Ray could retire, but for some reason he doesn't want to retire. Triple says it has been announced that Seamus will return. Finally, man. Yeah, when they do their show in Quebec, it looks like the Raw in Quebec is when he's going to return. But it's a yeah, I think it's this turn. Monday. 
Sophie says AEW released their full pay-per-view schedule yesterday, and All In and Out are once again a week apart. Cool. I'll have to go check it out and put it on my calendar. Good for them and ruining all. I of might their even lives. watch it. Right. I just don't like anyway, doing AEW right. stuff anymore. Itching, licking. You know, and I've given it a shot. It's not like wow. I haven't been watching it for four years. Like since they started. Is your keyboard off? Mm -hmm. Why don't you type something on it? Well, your cat probably will. Oh. Uh, uh oh, 619 fail. Oh no. He got him up and then oh, threw back him down. Breaker. Poor Ray. Oh no. Oh god. Fat Canadian went straight down. But he's not. Oh. What do you want to eat? Almost time. Four no. minutes. There's a cat on me. Mm -hmm. He jumped on my shoulder right here. No. No. Don't be mean to him. I'll call PETA. Do it. A S P E T E. Do it. Call. End phone. I dare you. Phone is out there. I, I can't dare call. you to call him. I don't have a phone. <laughs> Is it on miss mode? No. I Come on, AJ. Mode. My cat, you're annoying, little You almost poop. left the Canadian win. You got a Canadian, a Mexican, and whatever AJ is. Georgia? Is he from Georgia? Mm -hmm. Probably. I don't know what part of the South he's from. I think they say it. Whoa, nobody was home. Right into a thrust kick. Pop up power bomb. Here it comes. No, AJ jumps over and Pele kick. Look out for Mysterio. Styles clash. Annoying. You're Cross annoying. body. Punching in the face. He goes like a bulldog. What's a bulldog? AJ Styles. Georgia. Ray just messed up, but AJ fixed. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. And dumb happened. They all can't be cool matches. Right? I feel like that shit got works. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's this litter. All right, come on, AJ. Monkey flip. Right into a Hurricane Rana. Kevin out. Here it comes. 619. Damn bitch fine. That's it. Five star. Ray wins. That's a long way to jump. Oh, no. Kevin with a cutter. Or stunner, sorry. Come on, AJ, move. No. Okay. Oh, yep. Got his knees up. Get out of the ring. Take your elbow pad off. A for apple, J for jalopy. What's he going to do? That's not a finisher. Not a finisher. Oh, no. Raise back. That stunner didn't last. Nope. Uh-oh, Hurricane Rana right down onto KO. Styles clash onto Kevin Owens' body. That's how you get it done. Look at that. One, two, three, or a hundred. So predictable. Oh, they give it to AJ. Imagine that. I couldn't believe it. AJ also beats LA. Of course. I'm calling it now. This is why I ended at WrestleMania when you can keep it going. 
true. Why? Why? A lot of people try it. The real question is why. Are you mad? You should be mad. It's right. got mad cat disease. Mad cat disease. It's like mad cow, but with a cat. And it's not right. a brain disease. <clears throat> Well, all right, everybody, that is the end of SmackDown tonight for that Contenders. The first one of the night was uh, the winner was LA Knight. And of course, the second one was AJ Styles. So we're going to see that crap again at uh, next Friday. And then they're going to, whoever wins that is going to face uh, Cody. Oh, look, he came out. Yeah. It's LA Knight and AJ Styles face to face again. I love that already. he's in the Hulk Hogan colors. He's there. He's right there on their face. WrestleMania was just part one. Yeah. Yeah, don't choke on your gum. What happened to the cover, Brocky? Guys? You think they're going to kiss? Yuck, 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 yuck. They look I like know, they're going to kiss. They look excited to see each other. Um, anyways, everybody have a fabulous weekend. If you are interested and want to know the UFC 300, show is on Saturday night. It should be pretty good. They have a lot of big names on there. A lot of uh, champions and there are going to be a lot of ranked fighters on that card this weekend. It's going to be a really big one. So if you're interested that's on this weekend. Otherwise we'll see you guys again on Monday for Raw. Thanks for watching Wrestling Gab. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.